here with Cam Rass, the head coach for the Santa Clara University. Coach, great opportunity for you tonight for your program on national television and a great rivalry matchup. Yeah, you know, we always look forward to this game with USF, and tonight will be, a, I think, another great match in our history with them. You know, we're very fortunate to, to be at home tonight, and, you know, our, our field's in great shape, and we're looking forward to being able to present just a, a great game for the fans and uh, hopefully play well, hopefully get a result. For the people that don't know about the tradition, it goes back to the first time these two teams squared off, 1967. This is the 57th meeting. Describe what this matchup is like. Well, you know, I think you could ask some of our older alums that played in those games. And back then, USF was traditionally one of the, the national contenders, a team that played for national championships and has won five. You know, since that time, we've definitely emerged as a team that has been able to contend and play in five college cups in the last 20 years. And, you know, we are a team that's a little bit in transition right now, looking forward to, to trying to, to get back to some of our um, – I think our, our real roots of, of success and uh, to try to be back in that national contention come the end of a year. You look at the two teams against San Francisco, Santa Clara combined for six of the past league championships. How have they been so successful? Well, you know, we're, we're very fortunate to work at some great schools, both USF and Santa Clara, you know, offer great academic standards and, and a great place to get a lot of personal attention in your academic endeavors. For us, you know, we, uh, in addition, are looking to create an environment that our players can really achieve great things, achieve their goals. Hopefully some of them want to go on in the game. Some of them are, have been able to. Um, you know, so for us, I think when you offer great, great soccer, you offer a good academic standard um, and a good area of the country, I think you're going to attract talent. That talent for sure is going to produce championships in our conference. Speaking of championships, like Eric Fisser for San Francisco, you played in a championship game. Describe the level of play that you're seeing now from when you played at, at that highest level. Well, the, the game in the U.S. has for sure gotten better over the years. You know, I think we go out and we look through players and, and try to decide on which ones can really affect the game in a positive manner. And, uh, you know, we played some years ago now, and I'm not even going to tell you how long ago that's been, but uh, you know, I, I do think the standard throughout the country has risen, and that makes it even more competitive. So when you do have success, I, I think you really feel uh, a great accomplishment in, in having that success. What do you think it will take to get Santa Clara back to that national championship game? Well, you know, I, th I think we're looking to, to really bring in some players that um, can buy into the system. And, uh, I, you know, we have been able to work hard. We've been able to really play some great defense. But at the same time, I think the game has transitioned a little bit, and you have to be able to be creative on the attacking side. That is a piece that we're really focused on right now. We think if we can put both of those together, uh, I think you can be a contender in this country. Season's winding down a little bit. Describe how, how this season was for you, the ups and the downs. Yeah, I think we had a lot of hope, at, like all teams across the country in the beginning of a season, you know, and I think we, we played a great, great schedule. You know, it's a schedule that when we put it together, we thought, hey, we can have some great success, um, even against some of the tough teams that we know we're going to face. Um, some of those, you know, actually came to fruition. Some of them didn't. And uh, I think we learned a lot. I think we have a young group that we're really relying on as we go through this season, and, and uh, hopefully some of those guys will play really well tonight. Um, they've matured, and we're playing some of our best soccer of the season. Season, that will hopefully be a good lead in for next year and you know we'll have to look to next year to really have the success that we're looking for. And finally national exposure advancing the game a lot of that has to do with what the NSCAA is doing getting these games of the week on Fox Soccer Channel uh, discuss what, what that means for soccer. Uh, the Fox Soccer Channel has been awesome you know in them promoting the college game and really going across the country to look for some great matchups. You know, we feel very fortunate to be on the game of the week this week and uh, hope to just produce more good soccer for the, the college fan to be able to watch and really get inspired to go out and see a game, maybe live, and to continue to support it uh, in, in bringing more prominence to the collegiate game, you know, as a great means of, of family um, entertainment and, uh, and to help the soccer just grow in the country. Thanks for your time, Coach. Thank you. Cam Rast, head coach for Santa Clara University. Tonight's coaches interviews are brought to you by Mondo. Mondo, manufacturer of the Mondo Turf artificial turf system and the patented Echofill Star Infill is now the official turf company of the NSCAA. The Mondo Turf system features Mondo's newest generation of polyethylene fibers, which look and feel like natural grass and use color pigments that are free of toxins and heavy metals. Equifil, the company's environmentally friendly infill, is made of a synthetic material and not reground tire pellets. For more information about Mondo, visit MondoUSA.com.